This one goes out to Huber. What do you do when the person that you like that the church forbids you? Tell me, because the girl who is on my mind all the time is a Bible guru, three years younger than me. She's a missionary. She's been teaching me, making me smile constantly. She could be the answer for me, shape me up in a way that would be substantially a plus for me. Living like Jesus who died on the cross, but so many restrictions creates a loss. Like losing a game of t toss across. Yeah, tic-tac-toe. This girl's smile is golden, yo. But shush, no one can know. Cause the leaders of the church might blow. Whoa, don't want to do that, so. I'm empty without another soul under the mistletoe. Oops, take that back, meteorite comet. She just texted me and I saw a shooting star. I know this thinking is a bit bizarre and the church forbids her riding with me in a car. Oh, and she looks so sexy in those high black leather boots. So hot she burns holes in everyone's parachutes. Like skydiving, adrenaline rushing. Is it a real thing or am I just crushing? Like a fool in high school, gazing and falling off the stool. But we got a session tomorrow, so now I'm in an anxious fellow. You ever make eye contact with the person you like leaving a great impact? Close to a heart attack like strong rolling? Letting your eyes roll back? Yeah, this is a fact that, that has hacked my system, my emotions. If I talked, am I crossing rules and regulations of her faith doing her missions? This shit is like nuclear fusion, or is the proper term fission? It's complicating my mental condition, but in a good way, so let's continue the expedition. Not the average dating scene situation. Hell, I feel like I'm sinning, advancing the possible confrontation. Why is it every time I'm interested in a person it equals an odd situation like the infatuation of the last one who was the daughter of the woman dating my father? Living under the same roof altogether, oh whatever. Anyways, yesterday I got a letter from this sister which struck me like everything else about her. Is there anyone out there that can concur for sure? I'd like to know the cure for healing this questioning fracture. Maybe some Bible blessings screaming abracadabra cause she's a missionary sister and I'm a congregation's brother be continued in the future, the results will end up on this paper. I make a few friends, but then they scatter. Cool figure. The sister missionary who stands out in my mind's imagery. She's an intermediary who I would like to make my primary, but it's just a fantasy that she would be interested in me. She's a goody goody who I consider better than me. Time to leave on her missionary roadie, and I'm still here jobless, clueless, stuck in this losing game of chess. The two people I talk to the most are at this party, and I'm the host. Gotta see everybody, come and go fashionably. It gets some intoxicating. Going from introducing, conversating, then laughing and calling, texting, sharing, caring, and all this is a good thing until you find out they're moving. 